Good afternoon. It is Thursday, September 2 or September the 2nd, 2021. Welcome to another science class. Revision of Unit 4 and Introduction of Unit 5. Good morning. Oh no, good afternoon. It is the afternoon of Thursday, September 2 or September the 2nd, 2021. And today we're in a different room because in the studio there is another teacher. In this house there are three teachers. Me, my girlfriend and my girlfriend's sister also lives in our house. So we have three teachers in this house. So sometimes the studio is busy. So that's why I'm in a different room. So I hope it will be okay for today. So science today. Um, we will review our lesson about magnets and then we will continue with a new unit, unit 5. And unit 5 is all about energy. So we'll have a quick look at the first pages of the topic about energy. And we will review our uh, forces and motion. Okay, so let's get started with some vocabulary and then get on with the lesson. Okay, let's start with our vocabulary for today. We have six words, so please write the date in your notebook Thursday, September 2, 2021. So let's start with our first word. Make a little bit of space here. E N E R G Y. E N E R G Y. Energy. Energy. Okay, so our new unit 5 is all about energy. Energy is a little bit like force. You cannot see it, but you can see the effects of it. And as we all see later, living things and non-living things, they all need energy. So energy comes in different kinds. There's different kinds of energy, and we'll have a look at that in our new Unit 5, all about energy. Okay, number two, a word this is one of these words that you think, huh, what is that? But it's actually a very simple word. V-E-H-I-C-L-E-S. It's pronounced vehicles. 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 What is a vehicle? A vehicle is basically another word for car. Bicycle, motorcycle, train, airplane. So all things, machines that can move, that take, can take us from one place to another, they are called vehicles. So that's basically what it is. So any transport, mode of transport, a train, a car, a bicycle, the combined name is vehicle. Okay? So that's basically what it is. Vehicle. Then we go to number three, that's a long word, but I think you know this word from a movie. Wow, that's a long one. T-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N. So, see transformation transformation you know the movie transformers now this word transform we can replace this by ers then it says transformers this is transformation so transformation is a very long word but we can also use change so things transform into something else. For example, remember the movie Transformers? The car will change into a robot, right? And 
from being a robot to a car, or from a car being a robot, it's a transformation. So it's another word for change. But we will come back to this in our lesson later. Okay? Okay, let's have a look at three more. The next words are actually more than, uh, the next two are more than one word. And I will show you. Living. Okay. It's two separate words. So, living. Kings. And I will also write number five. Non. Living. Things. Okay, so number four. Living things. Number five, non-living things. So as I said in the intro, uh, living things need energy, but also non-living things need energy. For example, us, we are living things. And we need energy. How do we get our, how do we get our energy from? Eating food, right? If we eat carbohydrates, and proteins, and, and fat, and fibers, we get energy. And we need that energy to function, to move, because when we walk, we burn energy. So it's the same as a machine. You put a battery inside, like, for example, your mobile phone. The battery you have to charge. The same for people. We charge by eating food. But the battery will charge by putting electricity, right? So that's living things and non-living things. Right? We get our food from eating, and our phone is a non-living thing, gets the food from electricity. So living things and non-living things, they both need energy to work, to function. Okay, and then the last one. I think we had this word before in science, but it comes back in this lesson. R-E-P-R-O-D-U-C-E -E, Reproduce Reproduce So in this context we need energy and if we don't get energy we cannot reproduce Right? So for example if people like your mom and dad they made you so they reproduce and made you but if your mom and dad didn't get energy they couldn't have reproduced you. So that's why we all need energy to reproduce. Very important in one way or another. So one more time. Living things. People, animals, trees, plants are living things. Non-living things. Things that non-living. Marker, clock, table, chair. Non-living things. And number six. Reproduce. Reproduce means make new. Okay? Good. That's the vocabulary. You can underline. And let's have a look at our lesson for today. Okay, let's review first. We go to page number 68. And there's a page number 68 of our science textbook. Okay, so page 68 is this page. There's some information on that page and I want you to have a closer look at. Okay. So the first part of the page, the top page, we'll have a look at that first. What else do I want to know about forces and motion? What else do I want to know about forces and motion? Now we need to fill in something there, so what do you want to know more about forces and motion? For example, I would like to know, so we can just use that one. I would like to know what is the strongest Magnet. What is the strongest 
magnet number one. You can write that at the top. Then number two, I leave open for you. So you can just fill in anything there. Something that you want to know about forces and motion that you don't know yet. So, be creative. Come up with something. Okay? Okay. Now, let's look at the second part of page 68. Okay, the second part of page 68 is an important part. The green area here, I will show to you up close. It's called the mind map. Now, the mind map is important. It gives you information, everything that was in the unit. So, let's have a closer look at the mind map. Okay, let's have a closer look at the mind map. It kind of shows you everything we learned in this unit. You see, forces and motion is divided into four different subjects. Pushing and pulling. Remember, a force is a push or a pull. What are the effects of forces? Forces on stationary objects, forces on moving objects. They can slow down, speed up, Change direction, change shape. Types of forces. Remember, we have contact force and non-contact force. And types of magnets. Characteristics of magnets. Opposite poles attract, like poles repel. So, this area of the book is important. You need to remember these characteristics of forces and motion. Okay, and then the last bit, glossary at the bottom of the page, four things that you also need to remember, right? Contact force, non-contact force, force and pole. So let's have a closer look at that part as well. And then at the bottom of page 68, four things you also need to remember. It's called the glossary. So, four things you need to remember. Number one, contact force. A force that acts between two objects that are physically touching each other. So, a contact force is a force applied with contact. So, you need to touch someone or something in order to create a contact, contact force. There's also the non-contact force, for example, magnetic force. Magnetic scan, magnets can float in the air and they don't make contact, but there still is a force. So, non-contact force, a force that acts between two objects without being physically touched. Then, a force in general, a push or a pull that acts on an object. And a pole, remember, the poles of a magnet. A magnet has two poles. A North Pole and a South Pole. Okay, now let's continue to our new unit. And that is Unit 5. Unit 5. The title of the unit is Energy. Now, as always, we skip the first page. We go on to page number 72. This is the page we're going to read today. I will show it to you up close and then we will read it together. Okay, so go to page 72. We will focus on this page today and then we will go back and answer these three questions. But let's go to page 72 first. So let's look at page 72 first. Forms of energy. Let's read together. We cannot see or touch energy. However, we can see the effects of energy. Energy is the ability to do work. Energy is very important to living things but also to non-living things. Living things need energy to move, grow, and reproduce. 
So remember the word reproduce. We need energy to make new. So look at the pictures. The father is playing football with his two daughters probably. They are using energy. Later they will eat to get new energy. Then you see there some plants. They're slowly growing. The plant will get his energy from water and from sunlight and also from nutrition in the soil. But also animals, same as humans, they also need energy to live and reproduce. But also non-living things need energy. Here are some examples. Let's read together. Non-living things need energy to move or to do work. Vehicles, remember from the vocabulary, vehicles, so cars, motorbikes, trains, etc. Vehicles need energy to move. A television needs energy to produce pictures and sound. And also food needs energy to get cooked. So this way also non-living things need energy. So look at the picture, you see there many cars and motorbikes, that's probably in Bangkok. They all need energy to move. The TV needs electricity to work. And the food needs gas to be cooked on. So all forms of energy. Imagine if one day there is no energy supply. How will your day be? Would you still be able to do much work? So we will get back to that question in our next lesson. Okay, let's go back to page number 71. And the first three questions here. What do I know about energy? Now, we just read page 72. There's many things already that we can write. Yes, but we will do it together, so we will pick three answers. So, what do we know about energy? Page 71, question number one. What is the first thing it says on page 72? We cannot see or touch energy. So that's the thing that we know about energy. So let's write that one as number one. We cannot see we cannot see or touch we cannot see or touch energy so that is our answer number one what do we know about energy? We cannot see or touch energy. Okay, so number one. You can just pause the video and then write your answer and then play again for number two. Okay? Okay. Another two things. Let's keep it simple today. Number two. We are people. We are living things. Do we need energy? Yes. So... Number two, living things, oh, go that way, need energy, okay, so number two, living things need energy. And let's keep it simple, number three, you can pause the video and you can write it first and then play the video again. Huh? Number three, not only living things but also non-living things need energy. Okay, so one more time, page 71, question 1, we cannot see or touch energy. 
living things need energy. And number three, non-living things need energy. Okay? Good. Copy these answers and then we will leave it at that. Please read page 72 one more time so you understand what's on the page. And then next week we will continue our unit on energy. Okay? I will see you in the morning for our math class and take care.